Hi, I'm Jameson Mitchell and I'd like to welcome you to this week's Oracle Outlook. In this video, I'll be doing a Lenormand card reading for the week starting August the 15th, 2016, so stay tuned. And here we are with the cards on the table and the deck assisting me for this week's reading is the Piotnik Lenormand. It is a traditional classic Lenormand deck published in Austria. So again, this is the Piotnik Lenormand. And as I do for these weekly general readings, I'm taking the deck in hand and I'm going to be shuffling the cards and I'm asking the question, what do we need to know about the week ahead? What do we need to know that's going to make the week ahead the best week we can experience? Okay, that felt good. And so now I'm going to cut the deck. And when I use the Lenormand in my weekly readings, I like to use a line of five as the layout. So I'm taking the top five cards from the deck. I'm laying them out in a line, going from left to right. I'm taking a moment to look into the viewfinder and making sure that they are straight. Okay. And before I go into the cards, I want to invite you to be a part of the process. This is a general reading, as I've said. So any thoughts, feelings, impressions that you get about the cards as I go through them, as I speak about them, let those impressions, let those thoughts, let those feelings be ways or messages for you that help personalize the reading for you. So having said that, I'm going to turn to the f middle card. I usually use the middle card first and let that be information about what the focus for the week could be or what the central issue for the week could be. So turning the card over, we have the bear. So the bear for me is a card that can represent strength and power. So it could be, depending on the cards around it, it could be how can you become more powerful this week in terms of your own personal power. It could also be how can you, you know, be strong in this week, it could be like whatever the surrounding cards are, we could be asked to call upon our own strength, you know, or that we're going to have an experience that is going to serve to make us stronger. Because now I'm hearing, and now this is not a Lenormand thing, but in, as I talk, sometimes I hear things or see things. So as I said that, I'm hearing the old Britney Spears song, Stronger. And so the idea in that song is that she's singing about that she's stronger than she was yesterday. So it could be as a result of having a ex certain experience this week or a particular experience this week, we could come on the other side of that being stronger than we were before we had the experience. The other thing about the bear card for me is that I always call this card the boss card. So again, this could be about how can you become more empowered to take control of your life, um, to maybe manage uh, either people or circumstances or affairs in your life. And going with the affairs, bear is also a card of resources. So it could be like you are going to be uh, coming into some resources that may be helping you to get more control over your life or make your life more manageable. Again, those are just things that are coming to me about the card, but we'll know more when we look at the card surrounding that. So again, bear is about power, strength, being the boss. And so I'm getting with that sense of like something being empowered. It could also be somebody who is an authority, going with the idea of being a boss, somebody who is an authority, somebody who's a leader, somebody who has some level of expertise. You know, somebody who has some form of influence. So if it's not you, depending on the card surrounding it, if it's not you, then it could be another person who has some sort of influence or somebody who is an authority or who's going to step in as a resource to help you create maybe more control or maybe get your life more organized. I'm seeing that as possibilities. So now we'll take a look at the cards that are immediately flanking the bear to give us more information. 
So on the left side of there we have the letter, and on the right side we have the anchor. Okay, so the first thing that comes to me is with the letter. The letter is a card that can represent news or messages. I tend to see this in written form. So these days it could actually be a letter in the mail. It could be uh, an email. It could be a text message because those are still written forms of communication. It could also be that letter is about some paperwork or documentation going with the idea here about I said about getting your affairs in control it could be one of the things you may want to get some control over or, or maybe some um, organization or management it could be around some sort of paperwork or documentation of some kind so I'm seeing those as possibilities with the letter now if we look at the pair of bear and letter it could be a a strong message or a powerful message if we go with the ID here that bear is about strength and power then it could be a strong or a powerful message that's being received it could also be a message from somebody who is in a position of authority so it could be you get an email or a text message from an influential person or a person who is in some form of leadership or authority you know it could also be that you get um, a message about your resources. Some people look at Bear as finances. You know, so it could be a message about your your financial position or, you know, ways for you to be more financially in control. I'm seeing that as a possibility if you go with the idea that Bear can mean finances. So those are some possibilities. Now on the other side of that, we have Anchor. For me, Anchor is a work-related card. So it could be that there could be a message about work or it could be a message about security because Anchor is a card that can represent stability and security. If we go with the idea that there's a pair formed with letter and anchor, so it could be, you know, a, a letter about work, you know, a message about work, you know, um, a message about security. I'm seeing those as possibilities. And then with that, if it is a work-related type of message, then that would make sense with Bear being in the center because it could say it centers around the idea here about, you know, maybe some sort of um, um, organization or some sort of um, structuring or some sort of, uh, you know, getting things under control. It could also be that it actually comes from or it centers around a person who is in a leadership position, a person who is an authority, a person who's the boss. So I'm seeing that. It could also be maybe too that there's a possibility somebody watching this video may be, you know, um, up for a promotion. You know, um, anchor in this regard can represent somebody who is hardworking, somebody who is serious, somebody who's been doing that particular type of work for a long time. And it could be that it's time to consider if you've been with a particular company or corporation for a long period of time, it could be you are being asked to maybe assume more of a leadership position. So I'm seeing those as possibilities. Now looking at the outer cards, they give us more information and possibly tell us how things could wrap up for the week. So we have heart on the left side and we have on the right side, we have Moon. So this is interesting. Okay. So on the left side with heart, heart is a card for me that can represent passion. It can represent love and romance. It can represent affection. I tend to go with the passion more for me personally. It could also be like um, somebody who is a fan. So here with the first three cards, <laughs> I'm seeing the possibility of like fan mail for a person who is a leader, a person who's authority, a person who is in some kind of um, position of influence, some kind of expert, some kind of leader. So I'm seeing like fan mail for that particular type of person. You know, it could also be too, like there is a person who actually is sending a, a love letter, you know, or, you know, um, a passionate response or something in writing but that it's, there's some passion for it and it's directed at a person who is in a leadership position or a person who's an authority so I'm seeing that but I'm going to go my first impulse was to go with fan mail for somebody who is in 
a leadership position or somebody who carries some form of influence. You know, now again, if we go with the idea here, because I thought I was done, but if we go here with the idea that the heart is all about, you know, love, romance, passion, then it could be a love letter for a boss. Maybe if this is an, a work-related thing going with the anchor, if this is a work-related situation, then it could be there's, you know, maybe an office romance, you know, with somebody who, again, is in a position of leadership and authority. So I'm seeing that as a possibility. And going with the idea here, like if this is a promotion, let's say somebody's moving up the ladder, they've been with the company a long time, they were, they're thinking about assuming more of a leadership position, then it could be like somebody who is a fan, you know, or somebody who has a great deal of appreciation for you or enthusiasm for you, you know, maybe gives you some sort of recommendation, you know, with the the letter being something written, some sort of paperwork or document. It could be a, a, a written letter of recommendation, but because they have such affection for you or they are really passionate about you as a person or about what you could do in terms of the work, then they're behind you and they're going to show you how much they care by offering you that documentation. So now on the other side of this, keeping with the theme here that this could be a work-related issue with the anchor on the end here we have the moon oh the moon it's the stars I'm sorry I thought it was the moon it's the stars so the stars could be like at the end it would be like um, getting your wish coming true because I always think about like when you wish upon a star with the stars so it could be that could also be too like a, a network thing so it could be the idea here about working at a, a company like you know that is uh, online or part of a larger network. So I'm seeing that as possibilities. I'm going to go with you here about like maybe doing some online work or doing some work that inspires people because sometimes this card can be about um, inspiration. Could also be about guidance and direction. But I'm going, my first impulse with the stars being at the end of the line could be about like getting your wish come true. You know, something that you're passionate about going with the card on the far left, and then it becomes a wish that comes true. But in terms of the work, with Anchor here being a work-related card and the bear being a boss or authority card, could be somebody gets their wish come true and that they actually become uh, a manager or become a boss at their place of employment. So I'm seeing that. And I'm taking a step back to see what else the stars want to say to me. Oh, yes. So the person, if we go with the idea here that the bear is a person who is in a leadership position or some sort of influential person, that kind of energy, then stars could suggest that the person has been doing whatever it is that they've been doing in their field, professionally speaking, for a long time with the anchor, long-term work. And as a result of that, they have now achieved some sort of celebrity-like status. They may be considered like a guru, because they tend to read stars as like a guru in their field. So now, I tend to read stars as, you know, from a spiritual perspective, something having to do with um, something metaphysical or something new age. So it could be a person who has that kind of energy or that is the field that they're in. They've been a long time, maybe metaphysical or new age guru type of person. And so it could be like, if I read this <laughs> going from left to right, I would see this as maybe, you know, fan mail or a love letter to a person, a, an influential person, a person who's a leader, you know, who's been working in their field for a long time and the field happens to be, you know, in the metaphysical or new age. So it could be some form of appreciation for this type of person. So now that would be one scenario. And again, the other scenario would be like if this is about moving up the ladder, becoming a boss, this is a central issue, becoming a boss, then it's about getting people on board or there's a particular person on board who is really passionate about you moving into this position and wants to support you with something in writing. And then at the end of that, you'll see your wish come true, which means that you would claim that position or that position would become yours. So I'm seeing those as two possibilities for 
someone watching this video for the week ahead. So now what we'll do is we'll take a look at the playing cards because when I do my Lenormand card readings, I look at it from three perspectives. So we've just looked at the keywords that are associated with the image on the card. Now we're going to take a look at the playing cards to get more information and then we'll round things out by referring to the numbers on the cards. So now let's take a look at the playing cards more closely. All right, and now taking a look at the playing cards from left to right on the heart, we have the Jack of Hearts. On the letter, we have the Seven of Spades. On the bear, we have the Ten of Clubs. On the anchor, we have the Nine of Spades. And on the stars, we have the Six of Hearts. So just looking at the line, the first thing that strikes me is we have a pattern. We have on the outer cards, we have two cards from the suit of hearts. So hearts can represent things like domestic matters. It can also represent love, romance, anything having to do with feelings and emotions. And then the spades here, spades and cardamancy, and especially in the Lenormand, in this regard, can represent service. So I'm seeing this as something, again, you know, something service related, which could be, again, with the anchor being a work related card, that would make sense. But also too, with that, the idea here that whatever the service is, that there is a lot of love or a lot of passion or a lot of feeling around it, especially with these cards on the framing end. So now what we'll do to kind of get some more idea about the center card, we'll take a look at the playing cards on the left and then the playing cards on the right. I call this system the dynamics. And so I always tend to look at these cards or dynamics about one side of the issue or one side of the focus. And then these form the other side. So here we have the jack and the jack is valued at 11. So what I do is I take the numbers of the cards. So here we have 11 and then seven. So 11 and seven is 18 if we add them together. And then the 18th card in the deck is the dog. And I'm looking for the card. Here we go. So the dog is a card that can represent a friend. It could represent a partner. It can represent a companion. So if we go with the idea here that heart and letter could be, you know, either news about a relationship, news about a romance, you know, a love letter, that kind of energy, then the dog would be someone who is a partner or a companion. So it could be this, this side would make it more of a relationship oriented type um, scenario, possibly. Since I kind of went with more of the work related thing, then this could also be about a work related partnership, that kind of energy. I tend to look at dog in addition to that as a card that can represent loyalty, um, help, support, trust, those kinds of things. And so going with that, if we go with the ID here that I was seeing the ID here that there could be a, you know, somebody who's a fan offering some sort of written documentation for a person who is considering a position of leadership or authority, then in that regard, then dog would be like, this is somebody who is offering this as a form of help and support and saying that um, there is a sense of loyalty attached to this person by offering this demonstration um, of support. So I'm, I'm seeing that as a possibility here. So I'm going to go with the idea here that dog could be a partner in that regard, like the person is partnering with this person to kind of help um, bring this scenario about, you know, help this person with this cause, you know, what this person's trying to establish in that regard. I'm seeing that offering help and support, you know, and it, and it's because this person has a sense of loyalty and trust for this person in this position, this leadership or authoritative position. It could also be too, going with the idea, if we go with, like I said, fan mail for a, a, a person who is an authority or a leader in his or her field, then that would make sense too because, and the basis for the letter is because the person wants to acknowledge help and support that this person in this position of authority gave them. And as a result of that, they have now become more loyal to the person. Um, 
they have faith in the person because you go with the idea here that the dog can represent faithfulness. Could they, they have more faith in the person as a result of some personal experience or some sort of personal relationship or some sort of personal connection? So, and the way they do that, now I'm seeing that. Let's say that this person is moving into something new online. Then this side could be like the person offers a testimonial that goes on their website. If you go with the idea that stars represent something online and something um, connected to the internet, then one of the most ways of offering um, proof of what it is that you do in your work with people would be somebody giving you a testimonial. So I'm seeing that as possibilities with the dog. On the other side we have the nine and the six. So add those together, nine and six is 15 and look at that. It brings us right back to our center card, which is the bear. So here on this side, again, it's reinforcing what I was talking about in the previous segment, where if this is online work or if this person has been working a long time in the either metaphysical or new age um, industry or working as a life coach even, then that would make sense because then the bear in that particular regard would say that this person is an established authority in their field because they've spent so much time working in this area. So I'm seeing that again just reinforcing what I've said previously. So now again it could also be too that going with the other scenario about the person moving into a position of leadership or authority, maybe supervisory position, if we actually put the bear on top here then it forms a, di a diagram, a visual thing of like this person is in a supervisory position, like they're above this work. So they're supervise supervising it or have some sort of power or control over the work that's being done. So I'm seeing that. But again, it would be like the person's getting their wish come true. They've been doing this kind of work for a long time. They may have had the wish now to move into a more... Uh, powerful position, if you will, and there that scenario is probably going to be coming about. So I'm seeing that. So we'll put the bear card back. And so the other thing we can do is that we can look for the total of the playing cards. So with that in mind, I'm going to add the cards all the way across. So we have 11 for the jack, 7, 10, 9, and 6. That gives us a total of 43. So there are 36 cards in the deck, so a number over 36 gets added together, the digits. And so 4 and 3 is 7. So the seventh card in the deck is the snake. And here we have a potential challenge because the snake is a challenging card. And here it is. So here with the snake, it could be that my first go-to, my first keyword association with this card is complication. So here we have a situation where it could be some complication, some problem arising. It could also be too that while we haven't really been specifically assigning any gender to the person in the center, Snake has the inset of the Queen of Clubs. So here we have a card that can represent a woman. So I'm seeing that. So it could be you know, there could be a complication if this person, the bear, is actually a woman. So there could be a complication that she is going to be facing as she's moving through this. The snake it can represent something that has some twists and turns, you know. So it could be like it's not going to be like a straight line or it could be like there's been a lot of twists and turns and complications in this process. I'm seeing that kind of energy. Snake could also be that there could be the possibility of other people who are, you know, um, competing for the same position, for lack of a better way, because the snake is a card of a rival. So I'm seeing that kind of energy. So I'm going to go with the first thing, again, saying, like, if this person has been embarking on moving into this position, it's been a very complicated process. You know, there's been maybe lots of entanglements, you know, um, that kind of energy. I'm, I'm seeing that. That's basically it. The other thing, again, like I'm saying, it could be that the snake card could be making reference that it's a woman going with the Queen of Clubs being the inset, you know, that kind of energy. So complications, and I'm seeing a woman, and the possibility of other people who are um, rivals for the same position. 
So I'm seeing that. And that's the only really challenge I'm seeing with the snake card. So now what we'll do is having done that, having taken a look at the dynamics, what we can do is now, like I said, go to the numbers and just determine what the final essence card is for this week's reading. And so now we're going to take the numbers on the cards and we're going to add them together to come up with the essence card. So from left to right, we have 24 for the heart. We have 27 for the letter, 15 for the bear, 35 for the anchor, and 16 for the stars. And that gives us a total of 117, again, over 36. So I'm going to take the numbers, add them together, and 1 plus 1 plus 7 is 9. So the ninth card in the deck is the bouquet. And so this is a really nice card. And here we go. So keeping with the theme of what I talked about so far with the cards about this possibly being a work-related situation, Bouquet is a card that talks about talent, you know, and, and being gifted. So it could be like the person who is pursuing a more leadership or authoritative position at his or her job, this card would say it's because you have the talent. Going with the idea here that the two cards on the far left, we're talking about like maybe, you know, getting something in writing that's going to help that process, then bouquet is a card of appreciation. So the person's doing that to show his or her appreciation for this person and what this person is trying to accomplish. So again, now that could work for the person moving up the ladder at the company like I've been seeing, or that could be, again, the either the fan mail or the written testimonial from a fan about the work. Again, that would be, again, a form of appreciation. It could also be, too, whatever the letter is, whatever the news or the message is, it may come as a surprise because bouquet is a card that can represent surprise. So I'm seeing that. It's a welcome surprise because bouquet typically represents things that are wonderful, things that are pleasant, things that are beautiful. So I'm seeing that again. Now, the other thing, interestingly enough, going with the snake card I said was the queen of clubs, it was a woman, so is the bouquet. So again, it could just be a reference to a woman. And if we go with these cards as descriptors of the woman, then the snake can sometimes be a positive card. It can represent a woman who is a clever, intelligent woman. It could also be a person who traditionally um, has glasses or dark hair because I have found in my work with Lenormand that that is a traditional description of the woman, that she may have dark hair and glasses. And then going with that, the additional uh, descriptor of the bouquet can represent somebody who is creative, somebody who is beautiful or attractive. So I'm seeing those as also other possibilities. It could also be, too, that in terms of the person's long-term work going up with the anchor that the person has been awarded because sometimes we give flowers when we award people because I always see keeping with the beauty aspect of bouquet I always see in my mind the you know the beauty pageants and they always give um, the the winner a bouquet of flowers so I'm seeing that so there is that energy there about like being awarded something and especially with anchor being a work related card like uh, you know the idea of like being given a gift like you know for your long time with the company or corporation that kind of thing like you get a gift for you know long term service so i'm seeing that as possibilities so again if we describe it as a woman she could be clever intelligent you know the only other the, and she could be very beautiful or that she has a creative approach to things. One of the challenges she might experience with the snake card is, uh, you know, um, issues around communication <laughs> and how she speaks to people. So that could be a challenge that she may need to work with. And then the idea here is about the bouquet. It's like, how can you <laughs> um, beautify or... Um, um, lack of a better way, the way I'm seeing it in my mind is like, how can you pretty up your, <laughs> how can you pretty up your language or how can you pretty up the things that you are saying? It could also be too, the idea here is about somebody actually going through some sort of like, you know, makeover process, like going with the snake, like the person who is, 
you know, um, you know, something having to do with his or her image, you know, coming across as a person who's difficult, as a person who's complicated, you know, that kind of thing, a person who's very complex, then, you know, how can we kind of um, recreate that image so it comes across um, more uh, pleasantly? That's the word that's coming to my mind, more pleasantly to other people. So I'm seeing that. So um, I'm seeing that kind of energy. So it could be, you know, to the, the person, especially if we are looking at the stars at the end as, you know, something online, something having to do with the Internet. It could be, again, like, you know, having to take a look at this person's presence and how can they make their presence maybe more appealing or more attractive to other people. So I'm seeing that as a possibility. So in the end, this could be like the, going with stars about like the wish coming true, then this could be like the person gets the reward, the person gets the gift, the person gets the surprise, the person gets something wonderful coming to them in the end. So that is how I will end this week's reading. So this has been the Oracle Outlook with the Lenormand. I am James M. Mitchell, and as I sign off, I want to thank you for sharing this space here with me in this week's reading. I also want to take a moment to appreciate my new fans, and I'm saying that by acknowledging the people who have subscribed to the channel. In between last week's video and this week's video, I want to welcome you. I want to thank you. And if you're checking me out for the first time this week, then I offer to you the same invitation that I do to other people, uh, my other viewers and subscribers. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. So this way that you will be updated every time I post a new video. So if you're here for the first time, I want to welcome you and thank you for sharing space with me. If you subscribe to the channel again, I want to thank you for subscribing. That means a lot to me. I appreciate that. Again, I'm James and Mitchell. I'm signing off. And as I sign off, I want to wish you a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week. And until we get together in the next video, take care.